Hello everyone. And now I am recording and I am trying to measure the frequency response for this deck. And this will be recording frequency response for type 1. So see, I switch it to type 1 here. No Dolby. Right, so from time to time, one channel goes off. See, I have to put to pause. Make it fine. I believe it's a maybe relay switch. Right, this happens again. You see, and it goes like on the low frequencies. Uh, goes off. Right, so that's the source frequency response which is pretty good, pretty linear, it's a white noise, minus 20 decibel, for some reason it shows 0 decibel, and zeros here, not quite sure what's going on, Let's see, so it's 400 gears, and it's 0 level, All right, now, see, minus 10, here, Minus six, minus twenty. Ah, it's just application glitch. Okay, now we have minus twenty. And now I will reset the counter. And now we will start recording. And now it's record fine without overloading amplifiers. And we're recording flat. And it's it's really good. It's a, a little bit like one two decibel drop on the highs. Let me zoom in. Yeah, it's about two decibel drop between ten and even one decibel, ten and twenty kilohertz. So it should be pretty fine. Let's see. Okay, it's recorded. Now I will rewind back to the counter and run for it back. So now level stabilized. That's what we recorded. And as you may see, it records well to 15 kilohertz on type 1 tape. And I didn't tune anything, I didn't touch any port yet. So it does pretty, pretty fine job. Type 1, 15 kilogears, I'm 16. Okay. Now let's see what it will do with type 2. Switch into type 2. Counter reset. And we're recording. Oh, again. Let's see. Sure. Need to see it's, it's some some relay. Playback record level. Right. Now we can reset counter. We recording again. We have flat response here, and it's source response because it's two head deck. So we need to records and then play the same tape. Like where we did recording just to, to see the results. This is all two head decks like that. Now we're playing and this type two a little bit better to 16 kilohertz good and then like drops. For this age it's it's very good results. It's records really really good. Okay, I did not expect that it will be so good without any tuning. And now metal tape, the hardest one for this oldest deck. Metal tape is the hardest one to record. So let's switch and record it again. Like 
quiet response on recording on the source so this deck need more work it's been sitting for quite too long really you've seen like everything stuck everything stop doesn't work but i wonder if it will do a good job on the metal tape wow it does <laughs> technically 218 kilo gears you see this metal tape is a little bit brighter specifically tapes from the tdk but i don't need to touch anything so it's records in place really really cool okay now let me connect headphones and let's do recording some music so let me find one i believe we need to increase a little bit the level and let's record and this red one we're recording The right channel. Okay. Let's play. And it does very good recording. All high frequencies there. Yeah, see it recorded the sound, so I need to see where it originates. All right, my understanding is probably this relay, which which heads to record playback, but let's see because it's affects source. All right, more work to do, and I like to make this work a little bit better does a little bit delay in switching fast forward rewind okay sounds good uh we'll continue working on this deck uh, i probably would not do any other videos uh, it does really a good job it has direct back motor it records and plays well the only like i need to polish a little bit those small defects we observed and that would be it i will assemble and we probably will listen it if you will put in your comments that you like to listen how this deck sounds all right thanks for your time see you and bye bye hey guys and here i'm continuing investigation as i saw this relay uh, was the root cause of the problem because it gives a signal additionally to the 
Dolby chip and its star effects are as we've seen on the right channel. So I have to desolder this relay. I, I can open it and clean the contacts. As you may see, it's a golden contacts. Good, very good quality relay. Uh, to get here, I had to remove the side panel to push the pins. Let me throw this black one pins. We are holding this board with connectors with their CA. Uh, but I wasn't able to get them outside. I had to push them from inside and then pull out. So, well, they've been sticking. So, let me clean the relay and let's go from there. Uh, hello, everyone, back. I uh, desoldered it, cleaning this relay. And now, as you can see, no more these spikes, everything works quite well. Dolby on, Dolby off. Everything is good. And this is a good sign. And let's rewind. And here are our recorded levels. So. It was I touching with my fingers. Now everything is fine. Let's do one more test. Reset counter, memory. And let's record another 30 seconds. Before it already was jumping like, like a crazy. I used my lapping paper and deoxid to clean this relay and now as you may see it works like new and this is a good sign okay we record it and now we're playing right. you see record level like a little bit lower but just a little bit maybe half decibels it is blinking. So I didn't touch anything yet, but it's it's out of the box. Tune it well, works well. Everything is fine. Good little deck. Okay, now let me assemble as we solve this defect, and I will play a little bit more with the reels to see if I can improve this either. And this would be it. See you. Okay, guys, here it is assembled again. And the problem with this uh, idler wheel is that it's uh, one, one direction rotates uh, with a little bit of effort, and other direction is almost completely free. So, what I will be doing, I will remove this um, earring, we'll remove this uh, idler, and you see there is a like, friction material. I will use uh, lubricant, uh, silicone, on this material to a little bit increase uh, the grip and it should work right after that. That is like uh, recommended what I was doing with the uh, older Nakamichis when you need to have a better grip. So let's see if it will start working. See you soon. Okay guys, fixed. Pass forward. Rewind. Pass forward. Rewind. Good. So now I can assemble it. I check it up. I got a set of different other tires. Uh, but the original one was much better condition than those Chinese others. So that would be it. So I will keep the original. But that's it. Thanks for your time. See you. Hello, everyone. And here I'm finally recording. Everything is assembled, as you may see. Sound is really strong. No more issues. Records play is fine and we may check so we recorded six minutes 47 seconds 
here is uh, fast forward rewind. So it may be in the light. Fast forward, play, rewind. You see, no more issues. Quick and easy. So let's rewind and check the levels. I was recording with Dolby BB, like the only system it has. Dolby B and everything works pretty smooth. So that would be it for this deck. I will see if I will make a sound demo video. I will listen to it more. If I like it, I will do. Thanks for your time, thanks for your attention. It was a quite interesting installation because uh, deck mechanics, it's, it's really, really interesting. You see, now everything is clean and nice. And this deck is super slim. Again, like here is a tape. So I'm gonna like move, it, move it a little bit. So that the tape sits on the ground. <laughs> uh, you see, not much space above it. So it gets like that, really, really slim. And it's, it's high there. I right, see. Place. Spurs. Pose. Different tape types. Pretty, pretty nice, a good deck. I like it. So, probably from this series, uh, that would be my favorite from the sound perspective. Plus, it has quartz lock direct drive. It's a no-brainer. It's 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 a killer feature. When like motors are running for this many years, they frequently don't hold a speed well, bells effect, and so on. This deck don't have bells, so it's just single cup stand, single motor, boom, and it runs. Quite easy and nice i hope you like this deck hope you like this restoration and see you in my next adventures